Hello everyone! In this video, I will show you how to use a MySQL database as a RANREX data source. Our first step is to add an ODVC data source in Windows. For this, we will need to download and install the MySQL connector ODVC 32-bit from the dev.mysql.com downloads connector ODVC. When the file is downloaded, go ahead and install it. Next, we will add the ODBC data source to Windows using the ODBC data source administrator. On Windows 7, you can access the ODBC administrator through the control panel. But as I'm using Windows 10, I just need to type ODBC in the search box. Right click ODVC data source 32 bit and run as administrator. Click add and scroll down to the MySQL drivers. The driver you use will depend on the type of data stored in your database. If you store Unicode data in your database, then you will want to use the Unicode driver. But for this example, I will be using the ANSI driver. Next, we will provide the connection details. Provide a meaningful name and description for your new data source. Then enter the MySQL server name or IP address. I will be using localhost because I have MySQL and RANREX on the same system. Provide a username and password for your database, then select the target database. At this point, it is a good idea to test the connection. Click OK and close the ODBC administrator if all is well. Now we can add our new data source to RANREX. With your project open, click View Test Suite and click Manage Data Sources. Click the new drop-down and select SQL Connector. Enter a name and click Create. On the Connection Properties dialog, click Change and select Microsoft ODBC Data Source. In the Use User or System Data Source Name drop-down, select the MySQL data source you created. Click Test Connection, and if everything works, click OK. In the Query Test box, provide the SQL to select the data and click OK. Now right-click your test case and select Data Binding. On the Data Source tab, click the No Data Source drop-down and select your data source. Click the Data Binding tab, then click Auto Bind and click OK. And that's how you can add a MySQL database as a RANREX data source. Hope you found this video helpful and thanks for watching.